Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's get started on what is holding you back. We're going to go around the world from Aries to Pisces. Let's get started. Whoa. People are wanting to talk. Look what came out. Let's keep this for Aries, okay? What's it about? Is it about our values, our belief systems, our family values? Absolutely. Look at this. This is about family values. Someone's trying to make a decision about family, about marriage, about commitment. Someone who it's either you or someone else who is unaware, right, of the decision, if it's a decision. Or is it that you have been truly thinking about what it is in your belief systems that are changing? Are they changing from what you grew up believing, right? Some of, you are, some of you are walking away from a marriage, right? Leaving home. Someone's leaving home, right? It's a commitment. It's a live-in. It's, it's someone, we finally made the decision to, to do this right? I don't believe that, that if it's you or the other person, I think it's obviously the recipient of this decision that was being made has probably been going on for two months or two years in that, you know, sometimes it does take a long time to finally let that, let that sink in and let that go, right? I mean, truly, when one makes a decision, it could take years for it to manifest because of circumstances that truly are not within our reach, okay? Let me get a vice versa card here for the Two of Swords. So holding you back was the fact that you weren't making the decision and now you are. Look at that. It's like, okay, I'm done. I'm ready. It's happening. So... Someone may not have seen it coming. There probably was a conversation that, that someone said, it's time. It's time to go. And who's not adding value? Maybe the value systems of your family dynamic are different than yours of another, right? A cultural differences even, right? It's about this card right here. It's not sacred love. When someone's leaving, it's all about, I don't feel the same way. So you have to go. It's time to go. Someone's left. Someone's leaving. And someone was really adamant about it. Like, it's really, it's about time. It's, it's actually, time has expired. If the decision, however, of committing to someone is different. Someone might have been thinking or th is thinking about it. And the hold back is you, you got to do it, right? So it works vice versa. Someone's either leaving or someone's not sure if that commitment is what they want or they are getting ready to make that commitment. Taurus. Taurus. We have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who is at a distance and what has held us back in the past is a decision that was made to walk away, to leave. Maybe someone decided, you know, I feel it's more, it's, this is like a, a friend, a good friend, Taurus, that you've been, you've had for a long time <clears throat> and they are <clears throat> not leaving you per se, but they are moving moving out of a place where maybe you both resided and moving somewhere else. Why is the devil reversed though? Maybe where they were was toxic. Maybe what happened is someone said, this area is too toxic for me. I got to go, right? It's either you and or a Gemini 
Libra Aquarius. Let's get a card here for Taurus from the vice versa deck. Exactly. <clears throat> Things that have happened in the past have been blow up after blow up, fighting, going against the grain, making things difficult for others, right? Someone's been fighting against, against you for other, this is a general, right? Some people are fighting with you and they're saying, why are you leaving? Maybe the toxic behaviors have of one's actions, you know, is overriding the fact that they can stick around any longer. You know, toxic behavior once, this is not just the toxic behavior that's cleared itself out, but it's also the remnants of toxic behavior. And that's this card. This is the remnants of that behavior, meaning someone is still, <laughs> is still pissed, right? Someone still, I don't care what's happened, but I'm still burning up with anger because of what's happened. And you could be having a convo with someone about it, right? Someone said this person left your life or what have you, and it's still seething within your, within your veins. That's what they said. Okay, so we typically need to, if that's the case, Taurus, we, we need to either let it go and let people have their, make their own decisions, right? You can't look, you can't look at it as, as something that you are, you are no longer equating with someone else. I mean, that's clear. Okay. So let it go if you can. Okay. Gemini. 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 So Gemini, we have a stagnation, right? What is the holdup? Is it money? Is it not being able to, not being able to see the future with a Leo Aries Sag, right? If you're with a Leo Aries Sag, maybe there is a stagnation in a marriage, in the family dynamic of the marriage. What's, what is this and or whom this is, is holding you back in terms of what? I mean, are you both financially not right? Look at this. He comes up reversed. I, I feel Gemini that you're ready for this guy to walk. And it's just, what's the hold up is time. This is time, right? It's time. Some of you, it is time. Some of you are just like, you don't see the value in someone else. You don't resonate with a Leo Aries Sag. Maybe once you did and now you don't because it came out. Let me get one more card for Gemini here on this, this Knight of um, Pentacles. Someone else wants to go and find more opportunities, find a new love. If this is a marriage, it's on its way out. It's only, it's a matter of time before someone says, I don't feel the same way that I did at one point and I got to go because I feel like Gemini. Some of you are saying, I feel like life's passing me by and, and I know that I have or could have other options or vice versa, right? This Leo Aries Sag could say, I feel like I have other options, but it looks like it truly is a marriage or a live-in where someone's like stalling, waiting, you know, the holdup is, is the value that, the value of time that it's taking in order for this energy to, to leave. And those, those, that is beyond your control, apparently, because it's not happening yet. So for you, Gemini, it's only a matter of time before you say, okay, I'm out.
Cancers. Cancers. Let's see what's going on. Cancer. Cancers. Okay. Let's see. Oh my God. Okay. So, Cancers. Take a look at. I don't know why I, I heard Take a Look at Me Now. That song. What is it? Phil Collins? Take a Look at Me Now. There's an, just an empty place. So, Cancers. Some something happens, you find out, okay, this isn't you, so I have to take a deep breath. This is not you. This is you find out or you hear about someone who has committed suicide. That's the first thing that, that came to my energy, okay? The second thing is that someone really screwed up and is going to, and is either coming to confess or it's someone else screwed up it's really big and someone else is saying, I'm coming to tell, I'm going to go tell cancer that someone screwed up. Someone lied, cheated, manipulated a situation and got caught. Or they played, they played, <laughs> I hear a dirty hand of poker and got caught. Some of you, if you're seeing eagles, it's very rare to see an eagle, actually. But if you are, this is the energy of the person who has passed going into this eagle. As it soars, it is sending messages to you. Maybe you're getting messages and downloads from spirit of someone, cancer, that passed, right? Who really feels like they did you wrong. I feel that a lot, actually. I feel that heavily. That someone did you wrong in the past and they're on the other side and they want to say they're sorry or give you a download that, okay, so if it is a third person that that is doing you wrong, someone wants to relay that to you before you fall or someone falls. Maybe it's about falling down. Watch your step. A cancer, oh, this is you. So watch your step. Watch who's around you. Watch and he, more importantly, listen to what people are saying. This could be an emotionally manipulative, mentally manipulative person who doesn't see their own demise. And this person doesn't want to be told what to do or it's you. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to live. I'm going to do what I want and that's what they do, right? Yeah. You know, we say save yourself, right? There you go. This could be something that happened like eight weeks ago, eight months ago even eight years ago. Cancers, just be mindful of who says what to you, how it's presented. Listen to the tone of someone's voice when they're talking. Okay important okay Leo Leo Leo's Leo's we have an ace of Pentacles Okay, so Leo's, you're waiting to hear about more money or someone offered you a better deal. Spirit's watching. 
if this is if this deal is going to come through or not but i don't feel it's going to come through i feel this deal is a dead deal um i feel that if you are dealing with it's like you know co-workers managers directors you know getting in your getting in your face about well this is how we're going to do it in order to make money and and you know, spirits like, um, I don't think so. I don't feel this deal is going to go through. If it is a deal, if it is an idea that you want to launch, it's not going to happen. It, people are not on the same page. They don't see how it's going to work. People don't see how it's going to work. Maybe you're trying to convince people, Leo, that it's going to work. If some of you are fighting for attention, be mindful of your thoughts. This is massive thoughts, right? This is this is stick to your own stick to your own thoughts and or behavior because what you do right now is crucial as to the time and the energy and the money that is going to come from this. Some of you it's the deal's dead. It's not happening. All right? For others, it's like maybe you need to tweak tweak something in order for it to work. But you need to take your time if you're doing it because others are not on the same page. You yeah, you're going you're going into into a situation where I don't really feel I feel like you really need to reassess this here. This is holding you back. What other people say, think, and or are wanting to, to tell you about this, this job, this offer, this deal. Maybe someone's saying it's not going to work. But you think it will. Let me get one more card for Leo. Maybe something you want to launch and people are against it or they don't want to put money. They don't want to invest. See, look at that. The five of swords twice. Look at this. So this is a conflict within your own self about your the future of a deal, the future of your finances, um, money coming in and going out. And you're, you're needing to really maintain your effort to get out of your head and get into your heart more about what's going on around you. There are other people that are not on the same page. Maybe you're just fighting. For, and I think that you're really needing to reassess what's going on in your circle of peeps that you're dealing with. Be that in your business and or in life in general, your family, your friends, business associates. Mm -mm. You're not putting in a lot of time and or no one wants to invest in it. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what that means. And or put your heart into it. Maybe that's what it is, Leo. Hold on. Spirit saying, put your heart into what it is that you're working on, tweak it. And then it may give you, it may give you a new, it will give you a new angle once you start thinking more about how your heart is in this or not. Is your heart in this, whatever this deal is, whatever this, the dealings of you and others that are, there's just, there's a conflict, truly, of interest. Virgo. Not yet. Virgos. I'm going to take four cards because the, the one was just talking to me. Okay, Virgo. So, on one hand, we have this beautiful Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which this could be Gemini here for sure, but... We're looking at the past opportunities that people, places, and things. You're reflecting on your life right now, Virgo. 
you're reflecting on someone who really touched your heart, is in your life, and the things that have happened throughout the course of your t of your time and tenure of life experiences, you have cast aside a lot of people in order to hold on to to the ones that are going to really be significant in your heart. So I feel like many of you Virgos are looking back saying, wow, I may have, I'm, I went through a lot of different opportunities, people, places and things over the course of my life and I chose well. I chose this, this beautiful two of cups, right? You chose what your heart wanted all along. And if you didn't, then that's the conflict, right? Or not. Look at this. Someone, someone in, at a distance. So someone, if you have been dealing with someone at a distance that you've been going back and forth with, the conflict is that maybe you see this person as your person, but you're already with another person, right? You may be thinking about, was this person, was a person that you were dealing with in the past, your true, true love? Did you pass that up? Are you regretting that you did? Now, this is a general read, right? But it could be that you see, you seem to think of your past as, wow, I, I messed up. For some of you, it's general. For others, you're with the person you're, that you, that was loyal and honest and emotionally in it with you, but you're also thinking of opportunities of, and or other people that touched your heart that you let go of. And that, you know, I mean, it happens, right? You let go. Sometimes we have to let go of people that we even we even feel are are the one. Right? Soulmates don't always it's you know, I'm not going to I digress. I'm not going to label that. What I'm going to label it as you followed the path of what you wanted at the time that you wanted it. And so a lot of people had to go by the wayside. And you, you know, in looking back in hindsight, you probably, you know, are a little regretful and or just reminiscent of it. But don't be so reminiscent of it where it, it takes away from that two of cups. Okay, Libra. 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 So is it is it too difficult to want movement but you're not getting it right what does that mean well it could mean well i just really don't want to spend all my savings on somewhere that you know i i want to go somewhere i want to explore i want a vacation or what have you and you're like well i don't know if i want to delve into my savings account and then regret it you know i mean first things first i feel like if you if you are not a hundred percent right in wanting to travel or go somewhere or change locations, it's it's all about maybe it's just not worth it. Right? I feel this is totally you, Libra. And and your four of pentacles is just speaking loudly to me like you know, save your money, wait for the right opportunity, wait for, you know, more time to go by, 
time needs to go by in order to, you know, also not regret the things that we've lost. Right? Moving home, you know, moving on from sometimes when in when we think about think about all the lessons that we've learned we still come to a we still come to a part of our lives where it's it hurts it still hurts right whether that's a relo or it's people that have touched your heart and no longer are with you whether that's money and you know that you're saving that you don't want to spend it's it's those things that for you right now matter most. And it's right here. And you're at the four. So it's all about your home, your house, your, right? And you need to manifest, right? So that's what you're doing. So you're saying farewell to the things of the people, places, and things that no longer are in your life right now, only to take a step back in the backdrop and start working on the passionate, your passionate goals, dreams, desires, projects. What are you working on? What do you see coming in, right? Do you really, do you really know how much potential that there is right now in what you're doing? Do you realize that? And are you working on it? Let me take one more for Libra. I'm using the vice versa deck. Look at that. Same thing. Coming and going. It's about where you came from. It's about you were not able. Okay, so for some Libras, you are or were not able to manifest, right, where you came from. And where you're headed, you will be. I need one more card for where you're headed because this is all about w w what you've left behind and your inner treasures are still yet to come out to the forefront, right? To manifest. Okay, Libra. See that? So a new cycle is beginning, all right? But what's really hard is being in that middle ground that transition. This is like a transitional phase of your life. Part of your life is, 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 was, was, and is great. The memories, the love that you leave behind and the people that places and things that have touched you. And now it's time to really end the cycle of sorrow and start a new chapter. And yeah, it's not easy to do. I attest to that. <laughs> what can I say? The transitional power of power of time that changes us even as much as we want that sometimes Libras to have it change our direction, our life direction, that whatever is written has been written. I know we have free will, but whatever is written on the other side, the blueprint, that blueprint, no matter what, is solid, right? Because it's as above, so below. So that's a solid, this is what you may feel right now and think about what made you happy, wh where life took you, has changed your dynamic of your entire life but it is for the best and it's very hard pill to it's bittersweet I'm not gonna lie but it has to be seen as you know a better decision that's being made for the time being okay scorpio it's a bittersweet i don't know i can't even tell you what else to say about that okay all right, Scorpio, let's focus upon what's going on here. So it's taking every ounce of your res your strength of resolve to deal with some others whom, you know, have their own opinions of maybe 
what you do, how you do it, who you do it with, right? Is someone manipulating you emotionally, right? Or do you feel that that's what's happening, right? Why do you feel this? This guy looks like he's, you know, he's a trickster, but why? He's got two bluebirds or blue jays here. So some of you need to speak up. Some of you are speaking up. Some of you are finding strength in your voice, communicating what it is you want with yourself and others, like your circle of friends, friendships, right? Being honest, telling the truth, you know, maybe not holding so much, so much of your emotions, holding them back. Maybe now you're finding the strength and courage to really tell it, tell it, tell and speak, tell it, ooh, this is Mercury retrograde, tell it like it is from your heart. And that'll give you the strength, right? The strength of all your desires, truly, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that you're not seeing eye to eye. It could be a child. It could be whomever in your life. But you do have the blessings of your spirit animal, for some, a the spirit totem animal of the hawk, which is the red tail, which follows you all of your life, meaning you are speaking to the Holy Spirit. You need to speak and and maybe pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance on a situation with with this Virgo Taurus Capricorn um, who is acting out. This is an acting out, saying saying you know some things that are truly not not true. Could be making stuff up or emotionally manipulating. Make sure you know who's doing what. Scorpio, you don't have a hard time doing that for sure. You use your intuition. Whatever they're saying, listen to the frequency of what is being said, spoken. It's, and don't sign anything. That's what they just said. Okay, Sagis. Sag. Sagis. Okay, so, Sagis. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, right? Because Gemini had Leo, Aries, Sag in their read just now. In this, in this is, is the same actual message that's being given and or granted that, that a Gemini may just be getting ready with like August. I'm out. I'm out. It's all about timing. And I feel, honestly, I feel that the mask that someone's wearing is is theirs. They're not being upfront. They're not being honest about they just want a new life. Sagis, some of you, it's not a significant other. It could be a mother figure, a sister, or whatever. But whomever it is that, you know, someone's saying, okay, I'm moving forward with a new life, right? And that doesn't necessarily need to be a detriment. That could be, wow, this is great, great news. Someone's finally, you know, being assertive and moving on, moving forward and starting something new. Sad that this is about someone that's near and dear to your heart, no doubt. And working on themselves and just working in general. And maybe that's the message. Allowing someone, Sagis, to leave your life but still hold a very near and dear place in your heart for them, which is right here, right? The strength of one's heart never wavers. The strength of one's faith never wavers. It's like a lit candle. You always know when you light a candle and you say a prayer, if it's wavering, it has issues beyond our means sometimes and or it, it will change. The wavering becomes a very 
you know, a very solid candle, the, the flame is solid. But if, if it wavers in any way, it needs tweaking and or the decisions in which we hold near and dear to our hearts need to change. So if the, if the candle, something about lighting a candle, maybe saying a prayer for someone who's moving forward, collabing with others, it could be they just want to work on themselves they're moving on. If that can, if that flame is wavering, then know that, you know, you send them love and light and, you know, love and light here, really. Send them love and light and let them move on, right? This is the Trinity. So it is and has been written. And like I said before, when the truth of the flame does not waver, it is a solid decision. Okay? Capricorn. Capricorn. Wow, these just flipped out, and then I'll take this one. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, so obviously we spoke up to maybe a child, to um, someone who offered you, made you an offer, and, you know, it was like, no, I don't think so. I'm not signing on the dotted line. I'm not taking this offer. I don't feel it's the best choice for me. Um, if you have had offers in the past that ended with a loss, meaning love and or otherwise, right, it's just like, okay, I, the truth set you free. You're like, no, I don't want it. But then an offer from spirit comes in and you're like, okay, well, wait a second. Maybe this offer has been and or is being spoken to me this time or a new one is coming in so that, so that it gives you that truth and the truth of what the offer is. What is the truth of this offer? What is this offer for Capricorns? Look at that. An offering of change, change your beliefs from what you knew in, in your upbringing. It is about how you, how you believe and what you believe about your spiritual values versus religion. It could be, right? Um, it is about death and reincarnation, for sure. It's about death and dying. What do you believe in that? What do you think about it? What can you say about it? It's not a death. We're not talking about that. We're talking about your belief systems here in what you believe. Things have changed versus when you were, let's say, you know, when you grew up, your inner your inner self believed in one thing about reincarnation your inner self capricorn believed in one thing about reincarnation and now you're changing emotionally you're changing you're growing you're learning to follow your own voice your word matters i'm going to take one more card they're saying Let's take one more card for Capricorn, please. There it is. The loss, the losses, the hardship has changed the way you feel about death and dying, reincarnation, uh, death and rebirth. All of that is now undergoing a massive re- evaluation. Stand in your own truth and you will not waver if you're a Capricorn, a Sag Capricorn cusper. Wavering. Faith, true faith is unwavering. And that means the flame of our own heart. Aquarius. 
we'll take these four Aquarius. So we have issues with like past money, you know, falling through the cracks, properties that need to be sold in order to gain financial equity. I don't know why I'm saying that came out literally. Um, child alimony, child support and alimony, both requiring your attention. The things that have already happened, they're really still dragging you down. And it is really about time now that that we change this dynamic. Spirit wants you to not worry about your money because the more you worry, the more lack, right? We have lack here in one on one hand and we have financial prosperity on another hand but where the, what happens is you're you're facing the lack and not the abundance you're you're looking at all the things that can go wrong and have gone wrong and you're not looking at this now this could be an external virgo taurus capricorn excuse me that you know has the financial means and you're and you're setting yourself apart from that, such as this, where you're not feeling it, right? Wanting it, but not feeling it. Seeing others have it, but not having it yourself. That's the, that's the holdup. It's how your, what your heart says. What is it? You know, why you're working so hard. You're working really hard. So keep on keeping on is what spirit's saying. Work on yourself first and and only allow that which touches your heart to become a career, a career, um, a project, anything that touches your, your heart that launch that you want to launch. Forget about all that stuff that didn't work out. Worry, not worry, but work. So some of you are worrying because it came out. So stop worrying and work on yourself and how, how do you envision your future instead of your past? Put it to work for you. The thoughts, the, the heartfelt decisions maybe that you made that weren't the greatest decisions. Can you come to terms with forgiving yourself? about decisions that you've made financially that did not work out, okay? You have to really come to terms with that and allow it to be part of your past, but not part of your future. And maybe this person is helping you to do that, okay? It sets the tone for everything is what your heart wants and versus what you're actually you know, how your, what your heart wants and what you're actually doing are two different dynamics, right? It changes the venue. Okay. Maybe um, for some of you, you were hoping for more financial gain and you're not getting it. So just be mindful of how that money and love really are together, threaded together on the horizon. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. So, we have, which you've been having, so I'm feeling it's a very significant Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, whom, whom really... I feel it is struggling within their own rightful place of what they want, where they're going, where they're headed, what it is they're thinking. Their their the negativity is overriding the purity of decision. Why? Let's see, Pisces. This is an external person that wants a divorce and doesn't have the heart to tell someone else. Yeah. It's true. And the only way that one can gain their freedom is to speak their truth. 
and someone doesn't have it within them to speak their truth. But they may. It may come out, you know, give it maybe, what, six weeks, six months. Something will happen. There you go. Eight. Maybe by August. Interesting that this honestly is threaded in both the Gemini read as well as the Sagittarian read. So these Pisces could be your children, older children, um, friends, family members, etc. that are having really difficult time right now deciding to move on, uh, get out of what it is that they're in and they don't want to hurt anyone, but they're not happy. And you already know it. You know it. And you're there to listen, to give a compassionate, guiding light and help them. Because this is what came up in the top of the deck. Someone wants a divorce for sure and doesn't have it within them right now. Maybe they're looking for a lawyer. If it's not a marriage, it's a legal case of perhaps an action, if you will, um, some kind of legal action that needs to be taken and, you know, you're waiting to hear and or to read the document, the loan, a loan, whatever it is, right? Okay, let's get a karma card for the collective. We're only going to take one here. And this one's it. Okay, we have... Pluto, right? A resurrection. So we're resurrecting parts of our life, which, which comes as the blessings, disguised as blessings. Those things that really have died off or have been a struggle or we've been obsessed with, we need to make sure that we don't overly control the terrain but also allow whatever must go in order to get to the heart of the matter. A resurrection. Okay, I send you so much love and many blessings. I'm here for you if you need me. May readings are coming. <laughs> so have a great day. Take care.